Beardo. <laughs> uh... Hey everyone, it's Iggy Creates. Welcome back to my channel. I recently just uploaded my dream address for Halcyon, so if you want to see the Japanese themed island that I've worked on since March, please click the link above. Exciting news! I'll be starting this new series to track my progression for my new island. It will be winter themed, so flood the comments on what kind of things you want to see me build. Today I'll be showing my progress to 3 stars as a first step to unlock terraforming. I'll also be doing a little bit of villager hunting as you saw. Before we begin, please help me out by clicking the like button, subscribing, and hit the notification bell. I hope you all enjoy this video. The first time I played Animal Crossing, I didn't pay too much attention to the villagers, which I really regret. So this time I want to take my time and get to know them. I started off by getting a plot and I remember the first time I played Animal Crossing, I accidentally bought all the plots so all the villagers just moved in. While I was live streaming, I was also trying to guess the names of the villagers and as you guys saw, I had no idea what their names were. Shout out to Richard though. I know him, how much he likes Chow. The only ego I knew in the game was Apollo, so I was hoping I would run into him at some point. This penguin was pretty cute, but my favorite is still Tex. I know Meringue was one of the more popular ones. I didn't want to go for the popular ones this time, and instead I wanted to go for the ones that people will dislike. I don't like koalas at all, so I kind of just skipped over this one. I know how much my wife loves hippo, so that's why I couldn't take Harry home. Zucker's one of my favorites though, I've had him on both of my islands. Tank is one of the villagers that uh, one of the members in Discord said they don't like, so that's why I picked up Tank. I can't tell what's on his head, but it looks like a green brain. It might be a leaf though, I'm not sure. So today is Kyle's birthday. The first couple times I played Animal Crossing, I didn't really go to anyone's birthday, which was kind of sad. So I wanted to make it up by going to this one. I gave him one of my tarantulas that I got from Tarantula Island. He's pretty lucky I gave him basically 10,000 bells. Here's Apollo. I was pretty happy I ran into him. I think I had Apollo on Pocket Camp. Pecan's pretty cute, but I think I like Hazel more. I don't think I ever had a duck villager before, so I might go look for one in the future. I ran into Maple, and I know she's one of the other popular ones. I actually ran into Apollo twice today. Maybe I should have just taken him home with me. Anyways. This is the Bells Island. First time I came to this island, I didn't even know how to get to the middle. So if you're new to Animal Crossing, just make sure you eat a pear or some fruit that's on there. Then you can break that rock and jump from the back. Oh yeah, I didn't even talk to the anteater. Not a fan of them. I wanted to take Scoot home. I guess like the helmet that he's wearing. I like Margie, but I like Tia's design way more. So yeah, that's when I ran into Beardo. Beardo looks like Dr. Phil to me, and uh, it's pretty, uh, not the best looking villager. That's why I decided to go for him. Originally, I was trying to go for Rocket, but after messing up my time traveling, uh, my other plots got filled up. Yeah. 
So once I got all my villagers, I knew that I had to place a lot of furniture outside and plant a lot of flowers to get the three stars. So that's why I got a bunch of blue roses and street lamps. Didn't take too long. And then I just had to check with Isabel the next day and she announced that KK Slider would be in town. So I got the job done. It would be cool if KK Slider could play some lo-fi music in the game, but I do like his acoustic music. So all in all, that took me about two days, a couple hours per each day to get there. Finally unlocked terraforming, but there was one more thing I needed to do. If you've been following me for a while on YouTube, you know that this is not what I look like. So I finally unlocked the hairstyles and got my clothes back and now I'm me. Alright, now I'm back to my normal self. I can continue designing and terraforming my island. In my next video, I'll be working on my entrance and hope you guys like it. Sorry for the horrible commentary. I'm kind of just trying this on the fly. But I'll see you guys next time. Take care.